Oh, being human. It means having opposable thumbs, the capacity to love, and a whole host of cognitive biases that mess up nearly everything that we try to do or accomplish. Here are three that are especially sneaky in undermining our efforts to lead successful cultural organizations. You're watching Know Your Own Bone, Fast Facts for Cultural Executives. I'm Colleen Dillon Schneider. Confirmation bias is the tendency to search for, favor, interpret, and recall information in a way that confirms our pre-existing hypotheses. Among other things, it helps us avoid inconvenient information and convince ourselves that the things that we're doing are working even when they aren't. One big culprit when it comes to confirmation bias is with regard to the success of affordable access programs. Some leaders say, wow, I saw scores of low-income folks coming through the doors during that free day. What may actually be happening in reality is that this leader may have been unknowingly seeking out people who looked low-income to them to validate the success of the program. And if you're saying this sentence at all without doing actual research, then you're exhibiting another dangerous cognitive bias. Stereotyping. I wasn't aware that low-income folks wore signs. Were you? A second cognitive bias is an availability cascade. This is the self-reinforcing process by which an idea seems increasingly plausible based upon how often it is repeated. In other words, the more often we hear something, the more likely we are to believe that that thing is true, even if it isn't. When leaders continually tell themselves that mobile applications are the magic bullet to visitor engagement, for example, then others believe them. And as some organizations who have invested in mobile applications may know all too well, this can be misleading. The third bias is straightforward conservatism bias. This refers to the tendency to revise one's beliefs insufficiently when presented with new evidence. As humans, we tend to overweigh past perceptions and underweigh new information. One small example of this is the weirdly stubborn misconception that only millennials use the web and social media as a primary source of information. This has been disproven multiple times by multiple sources. But consider this. Before the web, professionals engaged baby boomers on traditional media channels for decades. And the idea that they may now use the web as a primary source of information is still proving difficult for some leaders to wrap their minds around. It takes a lot of evidence and effort for us to change even our own minds. When you think you know something based on your own anecdotal evidence, look into it. You might be onto something, or it might be a cognitive bias. And now you're in the know. Thanks so much for watching. For more information, check out my website. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.